Hi guys, welcome back to the Miss Beauty Saver vlog channel. So today's video is going to be my March Wantable unboxing. Oops, something's just falling out there. Anyway, it's really packaged up absolutely beautifully. And I think this came with Yodel, the delivery service. It came all the way from America and it didn't take that long to come. I think maybe it took something like between 10 days and two weeks to arrive, which isn't bad at all. Um, I'll just pick up whatever dropped on the floor. Oh, that was just um, a little leaflet saying basically if you love Wantable, you can go and follow them on their social media. This is just like a little banner where it's basically just saying smile, beautiful, um, the wisest wisdom from your friendly neighborhood fashion addicts. A day without sunshine is like, you know, night. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's just a really nice little touch. And something else that is new in this one's wonderful box is this very, very nice little thing. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Um, I'll take whatever's in it out so I can just hold it up and you can see what it says. It is packaged especially for Hannah Rose, which is me. Um, so that's a really nice touch to you. So yeah, it's packaged up really well. Another difference is that the box is kind of smaller and more compact than the previous one that I've had. Um, and so basically Wantable is an American based subscription box service and you can pick from a makeup box or a accessories box or an intimates box which basically contains things like vests and tights and socks and things like that. So of course naturally I prefer to go for the makeup box because I am very much into makeup and all of the makeup items that come with Wantable are kind of more high-end, high-value kind of items which aren't things that I would typically, typically go for. Um, there is going to be a blog post about this box up soon and I'm also going to be doing a wonderful giveaway so check out my blog and if you want to find out more about Wantable, I also did a blog post where I was talking about Wantable when they first launched here in the UK, which was only like a couple of months ago. I think it was January when they launched in the UK. So anyway, let's get into what's in this box. And actually, all of the items that are in this box, I'm wearing on my face right now. So hopefully you can get just a little bit of an idea what they might actually look like. So the first one is this, and this is an eyebrow gel. And I've never actually used an eyebrow gel before. Um, this is the BDB A Hint of Tint Tinted Brow Gel, uh, six millilitres. And this is in the shade Blonde. And you can be sure that all of the shades and everything are going to be the ones that are right for you because you go on to Wantable beforehand and fill out kind of like a really nice interactive and interesting quiz where you tell them about all your preferences and all your kind of skin type and colouring and things like that and then you know that the products you get are going to be products that you want. So this is basically what it looks like and it kind of has like a mascara wand type thing on it which is like pretty different for a brow product. I've never used anything like this before and I used it today and I actually really like it. Um, even though it's blonde it still has quite a lot of colour so it does noticeably make a difference and fill out the eyebrows. It's also really good at um, holding them in place and it kind of has really thickened out my eyebrows and I, I do like this quite a lot. And it's definitely made me curious to try other brow gels because I'm normally more of a brow pencil and a brow powder kind of girl. So that's definitely something completely new for me and I really like it. And the value of that would be $18, so quite a high value item. So the next item is this LA QA Fat Lips Lip Pencil. And I've tried a few things from LA QA before and they are really good products and the packaging is always beautiful because it's normally designed by, I think like art students or something like that or artists, I'm not sure, but it's kind of an interesting quirky kind of, um, company and as usual these kind of products aren't hugely pigmented if you want to get a decent amount of color payoff you've definitely got to go in and build up the color quite a lot but this is nice 
it's a lovely kind of it looks kind of pink on there on the packet but that's just kind of really not what it comes off like in person it's much more of like a coral goldy kind of color i would describe it as being quite similar to the kind of sleek rose gold kind of coloring but in a lip pencil and it is quite nice so if you like lip pencils you probably like this and i do like lip pencils because they're that nice kind of hybrid between a lipstick a lip balm and the kind of nice and conditioning and moisturizing and light but still add a little something so i really like that one and again that was another 18 dollar price point item so the third item that i've got in my box is this now this i am really quite excited about this is the la bella donna moonlight highlighting cream color so it's a cream highlighter and it's very shimmery and it's definitely one to use in moderation as a highlighter kind of top of your cheekbones i would say i think i went a little bit overboard and kind of started putting it kind of in my cheeks a little bit too much and i didn't like the look so i've had to kind of tame it down a little bit with some powder blush and stuff on top but this is nice and it's quite an expensive item it's worth 30 dollars so the coloring reminds me again a lot like the lip pencil of that kind of rose gold kind of trend that is so popular at the moment and i do really really like it so that's it there just swatched on my hand don't know if you can see that um, the lip pencil, by the way, when swatched, has barely any pigmentation at all, but it, it's not so much for the colour, I don't think, with some of these products. I think sometimes it's more the effect that they give, and that's the same I find with the sleek rose gold blush. Um, not so much about great colour payoff, even though I know a lot of the sleek blushes are really pigmented. I think it has a lot more to do with just the effect, that kind of glowy, dewy effect that it gives on the skin that makes it so popular. So I do like that product and I'm going to get quite a lot of use out of it, but I am going to be using it strictly as a highlighter. Um, it's really too shimmery um, to use it as a kind of blush colour, even though it looks like it would make a good blush colour. It's just the texture for me that is too shiny, too shimmery, shows up all of my pores and all of my spots and all of my flaws and stuff. So yeah, that's that one. And the last item, because this month it was four items, I think you usually get between four to five high-end sort of expensive boutique style makeup items. I think the last box I had, I got five items, but these seem to be slightly more expensive items. So I think that's why there's only four. This is another $18 item again. And this one is a eyeshadow. And I think it's called Pla Beauty. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it's called. It just comes in typical kind of eyeshadow packaging. And this is the shade Perfection. And this is a really beautiful colour. It's just a very typical kind of neutral, matte, almost taupey, taupey brown colour. Really nice for just popping on the eyelids for a quick, simple look. And also would be a good blending out colour, I think. Um, just to kind of, what's it called? A transition colour, something like that, where you just kind of blend it out when you're working with like, a defined crease and you want to make it look more natural just use a bit of this to blend it all out i think it's quite a versatile color and extremely wearable so that was all of the items there that i got in my march wantable box my march wantable box was the one for the uk i'm not sure obviously i think perhaps they vary a little bit from uk to the us and things like that but i'm really happy with it so, like I say, if you want to find out more about Wonderful, there will be a blog post on this box on my blog. There is already another blog post on a previous Wonderful box. And indeed, there will be a Wonderful giveaway coming up soon too on my blog where you can choose to win either a accessories box, an intimates box, or a makeup box. So that's it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not familiar with Wonderful and you like kind of high-end makeup but at a more affordable price point, then definitely check out their website and I'll link all of the information below anyway in case this looks like something that may be of interest to you. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe 
and hopefully I'll see you guys in another video pretty soon. Bye for now.